So talking about the big dog today, the driver, and how to hit it consistently longer and straighter. We're gonna get into the seven really important steps that you can take that are gonna greatly improve not only your accuracy, but also your distance. Let's get to it. So we're gonna talk about uh, hitting the driver. A couple things are really important uh, for simplifying this. This is really very unique in that we're starting with the golf club. We're gonna set up with it on the impact plane. Now you'll see a lot of the long drive guys doing this, uh, Bryson DeChambeau as well and it's really setting up where the club is in this position. If you were gonna hit something hard um, and accurately, you would do it like this. You would never set up like this uh, with the club at an angle to your arms. You would set up on your impact plane. And you can look on video, uh, put a camera down the line here and make a swing and you'll see even though you start here at impact, you're there. So we're just gonna set up there. We're gonna set up for impact on our impact plane and then from there, uh, we'll swing on as close to a single plane as possible back and through. Most people never even have to think about it. The club's on such a direct path going back and through that it's like magic. It really increases your consistency and allows you to generate more power. As we're getting set up then, uh, with the driver, we're gonna have the ball position here off the leading leg. So I like to go by the ankle and it's teed up about half to three quarters of a ball over the crown of the driver. As I get set up, I'm gonna set up with my head back of center, and that's going to enable us uh, to get this nice impact angle, which is really pretty shallow to si slightly upward through impact, uh, and that's a couple of degrees upward. If you're going for maximum carry distance, we would just move the ball slightly more forward and then at impact, the club would be moving up a few degrees. This is how I would recommend getting started at your setup position, uh, wherever you are. We're just gonna raise the hands up. We're gonna do this and let the weight of the club put the club into alignment with the trailing arm, at least to the elbow. I like to see a little bit of bend in this trailing arm. And so it looks like that. And that's how we want to get set up. The head's back, the spine angle, because we're standing up a little bit taller, it's a little bit more upright. That's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to move. So we're gonna start more upright, head back, hands up, and then I'm gonna go through uh, some steps and drills you could take uh, to further simplify. And please do me a favor, click the subscribe button below, hit the bell to accept notifications, and give me a thumbs up if you like this content. I look forward to putting out new videos almost every week. Uh, we're gonna talk then about the next step, number two, and you'll see this on my other videos on YouTube. I talk a lot about slowing the rotation of the club face through impact. We really need to have, even with the driver, the grip leading the club head into impact. And what that's doing, if you take a club in your hand as you, and you move this way, you'll see there's very little rotation. Most people I see hitting the driver are doing something like this. The club comes in and the club head passes their hands. Even you guys shaking your head that you're not doing that, put it on video and check it. That's something clients of my online membership are sending in videos and they're often surprised that the club head is passing their hands before impact and that's a big problem with the driver. That will give you every result imaginable uh, from uh, hitting left and right, uh, popping the ball up and so on simply because we're not here first, getting the hands here leading. We need the hands leading through impact, and that creates this nice flat spot through impact. And then at the end, if you want a little bit up, you just move the ball a little bit left, but we need that flat spot, which gives you a direct impact. It also puts the club straight through impact and uh, helps you hit the middle of the face. It also uh, allows for a parametric acceleration, which is gonna add speed to the swing that if we're rotating properly through impact, and because we're already set up on our impact plane, it's easier to rotate and basically get the grip moving up uh, through impact, which aids in acceleration. You can try it here. If you're swinging the club like a pendulum, the only way that you can really speed it up a lot is to pull up. So if you pull up as the club's lagging behind, it speeds it up. If I don't pull up, nothing happens. Or if I, if I bend here, nothing happens. And we're gonna talk about how the legs and body work in a moment, uh, but we really need 
the body moving this way through impact, the lead leg straightening and the rotation of the body because that's going to pull the club up through impact. It's going to accelerate so you have more speed than you've had before. Again, ball position is really important. That's going to be our third point just because uh, a lot of people have questions about the ball position. Uh, again, if we're going to hit a little bit lower drives, if you've been hitting it too low, I would tee it a little bit lower. Move the ball back just inside the leading heel. Um, in that case also, we would tend to align ourselves for a right-handed golfer left of target a little bit, say 10, 15 yards. Um, if we're going to hit a higher drive, we want to catch the ball more on an upward path. Uh, we'll move it forward and tee it a little bit higher, making sure that also that we stay back with the upper body. Um, and that will get the club face club moving up through impact. So ball position is really important. It's also important to be free to customize your grip or the orientation of your hands on the club uh, so that they fit what you need at impact. And I see this a lot, people forcing themselves to hold the club uh, a certain way and maybe something that works with the irons uh, they try with the driver and it doesn't work. It's really important to understand that because the ball is so far to the lead side, we need to see that the grip is going to fit that impact position. So if this is my impact, then I want to see that my hands are on the club comfortably so it fits this position, not necessarily here at setup. So I like to set up also with the club in line with my leading arm. And again, I'm tilted back here away, so I'm set up there. Once I'm set up that way, then it's just really back and through. And so we can see based on the ball flight what direction the ball's flying uh, if I need to make an adjustment. The ball flight, what direction the ball's flying uh, if I need to make an adjustment. Oh, that was dead straight. So it's uh, important to understand we can customize either hand. And again, that's something I offer clients on my online learning program. Uh, you can uh, learn how to do that or uh, submitting videos through my Platinum membership program. The next big help. Uh, for hitting the driver, uh, impact labels. And so I get these from longshotgolf.com, all written together. And these are the oversized wood labels. I think there's 400 in a pack. And we just stick this on the club face. And so this is going to help us learn to find our distance from the ball. So from my experience, people uh, tend to be marking either too far to the toe consistently or too far to the heel. Too far to the heel means they're standing too close to the ball. Too far to the toe means they're too far away. And uh, a lot of times they're marking on top of the face so they can tee it a little bit lower or they're marking towards the bottom and they can tee a little bit higher. So I'm gonna have to hit one. I'm gonna, I'll hit one just to make a, an impact. There's somebody there towards the back of the range. I'm gonna have to, to take it easy here. That felt pretty good. It felt to me I was a little bit towards the heel, but it turned out pretty good. So you can see the mark on the club face. And the mark starts out kind of gray and it gets darker over time. Uh, typically you can hit about 10, 15 balls per label and still kind of see what's going on. So the drills as part of my learning program will also help you improve impact. And uh, you can see in my recent uh, video, which was the best golf swing for anybody, best golf swing for seniors. I have a lot of videos that show you uh, some of my drills, uh, my learning programs on setupforimpact.com, but we need to learn to move naturally without restricting things through impact. I see far too often people getting really wide, trying to keep the feet planted on the ground, crazy stuff like that, which really flies in the face of what's natural. So uh, the sixth point here is we need to learn to move more naturally as if you are going to throw a ball. There's always gonna be a lot of movement in the legs the hips, the body, and that's what's really transporting and moving the arms. So we need to learn my first drill, which we can do with the driver also, is simply moving the club back here and then turning with the body, straightening the legs through impact. And you'll see that makes the club face square. With the driver, it's tough not to swing too long, but really I would actually practice some really short ones like this just to see that the face is square and the face was perfectly square there. You can also check, hit it pretty much in the middle. Uh, but that's my first drill as part of my learning program. 
and it's pretty easy to follow. Basically, we want to see that we can learn here that as we're swinging, that we turn back, the trailing leg is straightening and the weight moves a little bit into the heel. And as we swing in uh, towards the ball, the lead leg is bent and then it's going to straighten as we come into impact. And that's gonna help with this parametric acceleration. It's also gonna help create the flat spot and the square spot through impact. So it's important to move naturally the same way we would be moving if I threw a ball, I'd be going that way. And basically, it's pushing against the ground, which is using ground forces to create speed, as opposed to what I see a lot of people doing, trying to keep the knees bent and the foot down flat on the ground, which is ridiculous uh, for both creating speed and accuracy. So the seventh tip I have for you as far as hitting the driver is follow my training program online here on YouTube or my very in-depth training program on my website at setupforimpact.com and you will not believe how much you can improve your game just by working on impact and really focusing on getting set up for impact. Get set up for impact, it's gonna make it a lot easier to hit great golf shots. I have schools going on, Cincinnati, North Carolina, and Florida, three-day schools. Uh, you can check that out on the website and my online learning program uh, is available for one-time purchase, so you have lifetime access, or you can become a Platinum member, which allows you to send in videos from our review. You can follow my drills. Uh, there's a lot of drills on the website. I go in depth on setup, impact, uh, and how to customize the concept to fit every sway. So get out there, rip those drivers dead straight down the middle. There's no greater feeling. And again, any comments or questions, pop them in the box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.